Hi, my name is Larry Jordan, and thanks for joining us for this Power Up webinar on Killer Keys, creating great looking chroma keys inside Final Cut Pro. I am delighted that you're with us today. The goals for our seminar is that I want to provide you guidelines with how to improve your green screen images and keying, show you how to pick the right background color and the right background surface, and provide an overview on how to improve your keys during production. I don't want to spend a lot of time with this though because I really want to concentrate on how the software works so I'll show you how to use Final Cut's Chroma Keyer and which one of all the different keyers Final Cut provides you want to use. I'll show you how to use other keyers and more importantly explain why you want to consider having other keyers inside your toolkit. We'll go through a whole bunch of examples at this point I have eight of them which will show you how to solve specific keying problems. Let's start with a simple definition. What is a Chroma Key? Now whether you're using a green, a blue, or a red background, chroma key is the process of removing a specific background color to create transparency in a clip so we can take the foreground and put it over some other background, something that we couldn't easily shoot inside the studio. Alex Lindsay, who's the CEO of Pixelcore, has a great quote. He says, with green screen, 80% of your post-production budget is lost on set. This has a tremendous impact on us, not only if we're shooting, but also if we're editing. Because the most important thing you can do to improve your keys is to spend time up front planning what you want to achieve. And I'm going to be giving you a whole lot of ideas to help in this regard. If all you do is edit, then one of the things that you're going to want to do is to be in touch with the producer before production starts to make sure that somebody is keeping your interests in mind during production. And if you are doing production, you want to spend time talking with your editor before you shoot frame one because simple decisions that you make on set can have huge consequences, costly consequences, once you move to post. We'll talk about all of that over the next few minutes.